Okay, no. So at this time, mag-focus na tayo sa panibagong um concept ng ating lesson, no, which is all about the atmosphere. But um um in this lesson, no, we must need to understand, no, not only in understanding, no, but yung objective natin na sa ating lesson yun is to um to demonstrate an understanding of the different phenomena that occurs in the atmosphere, no, which is malalaman lalo natin siya sa mga susunod nating mga lesson and then na focus on how to um, on to discussing how energy from the sun interacts within the layers of the atmosphere no sa so, madaling sabi nagfo-focus tayo sa mga, sa mga layers of atmosphere later on okay so yan earth's atmosphere is a layer of gases or blanket of air surrounding the planet no alam naman natin yan so one of the purpose of atmosphere they can absorb the energy from the sun it recycles water no through so pamagitan ng water cycle diba and then protects us from high energy radiation and then also atmosphere supports life no yan ganyan ang ating mundo then next earth's atmosphere is made of a mixture of gases called air diba and then Meron tayong um, mga composition ng mixture of gases just like yung nitrogen. Alam naman natin kasi um, actually naitakal ko ito nung first grading pa lang po natin, no? Which composed of 78%, no? Ang kanyang composition sa ating Earth's atmosphere. Then oxygen composed of 21% and then yung natitirang 1% po niyan ay yung mga trace gases, no? So ano-ano nga po pala yung mga trace gases? So they are argon water vapor, carbon dioxide, ozone, at yung mga methane. Actually, hindi lang yan. Marami pang ibang trace gases. Then, next, mag-focus na tayo sa layers of atmosphere. So, mag-focus muna tayo sa pinaka-baba, no? which is the troposphere. So, troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. So, it is um, yung kanyang um, sukat, no? layo o ba sa mismong earth surface no which is 14 km above the earth no or all weather takes place no and then dito sa kind of layer ng atmosphere na to then as you move up in this layer the temperature decreases no yeah kung nakikita natin yan po then suddenly in troposphere no um katulad din sinabi ko dito lahat ng mga weather phenomena dito nangyayari din then yung stratosphere it begins at the top of the troposphere and extend no so it is extend no until 50 kilometer kilometers from the earth's surface no many jet aircraft or the aircraft fly in this layer because it is very stable no mas stable silang lumipad sa stratosphere compared sa troposphere so ozone layer occurs in this layer which those gases can absorb solar radiation and releases it as heat no so ganyan po then next in mesosphere so it consists of 50 to 80 km above the earth's surface so it is very thin and then cold no so sa pamagitan ng layer ng atmosphere which is yung mesosphere those meteors and then rock fragments are burned up in this layer due to the friction no tulad na nakikita niyo diyan yan sa mga meteor showers na nakikita niyo diyan may mga friction din talaga nang nagaganap in that kind of phenomena then yung thermosphere no, it is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. No, so it consists of 80 to 110 kilometer above the Earth's surface. No, so the higher you move in this layer, the higher the temperature. Sabihin natin this is a statement na to, so they are directly proportionate to each other. No, kung tumataas ang, kapag tuma, patuloy tayong tumataas, base sa altitude, no, mas tumataas din ang temperatura. No. So, the beautiful colors of the auroras occur in this layer. So, meron tayong aurora borealis at saka aurora australis. No? So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng aurora? No? Hindi po yung aurora dito po sa, um, sa, dito sa Pilipinas. No? But yung aurora, it is a beautiful astronomical light show 
Pole's which consists of bands of lights in the sky along the North and South Poles. So, last part, no, which is the exosphere. No, it is the upper limit, no? It is the upper limit of the atmosphere which merge, no? Which merge into space, no? So, the satellites are stationed in this area. So, so in terms of atmosphere, no? Our daily lives are also influenced by the atmosphere, no? So, how warm, how warm or how how cold it is which determine what kind of clothing we wear and what kind of activities that we can do no and then now how how could we consider the layers of atmosphere can be beneficial to the living thing no so nandito na rin po siya no so the atmosphere also helps to sustain life on earth life on earth no it provides oxygen for humans and animals to breathe and carbon dioxide for plants through water cycle plants and animals receive the water they need to survive no so diyan lamang po nagtatapos yung ating lesson so ganun lamang po kasimple no ganun lamang po kasimple ang ating lesson so to, to sum up ang mga layers of atmosphere natin to from bottom to top no troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere at saka exosphere no Doon lamang po umiikot yung ating lesson at ganun lamang po kasimple, di ba? Ganun lamang po kasimple. So, if ever man po na may questions kayo, um, leave a comment below and then that's all for today. Goodbye!